defensive type of player. So, I mean, you look forward to the challenge, you know, because it's, it's great guards, it's basketball. You, you, you want to play against the best. So, I mean, it's, it's just something you look forward to and, and looking forward to. A year ago, you can't even go to the Saints double tournament, right? You're sitting at home watching it with friends, and now you're here. Have you had that one moment where you've just looked around and said, yeah? No, nah, try not to. Because, you know, the moment you get comfortable and, and get complacent, that's when things can be taken from you and be taken for granted. So I try not to look at, look at it that way. I try to stay humble and keep my head down and keep grinding. Okay, one, two, three, then four. Um, I try not to talk about it to him um, because you never know his situation and how he might feel. So, you know, I'm there for support and anything, whatever it may be for him. You know, he's like my little brother. With the uh, Kevin Ware injury, I'm guessing one of your guys' assignments is going to be to try to get Peyton and Russ into foul trouble. How do you do that? I've been aggressive. Uh, you know, uh, the flow of the game, you know, you got to be aggressive offensively and defensively and, and just – just play and have fun. Right here. You give us a sense on what's going on on campus and back in Wichita this, this last week. Uh, it's crazy, man. I, I was getting text messages this morning uh, with, with, with pictures of me and teammates up, up on big screens in classrooms. So I, I can only imagine what it's like. Back in the back. Hi, Matt. I'm James Thomas with Wave and Louisville. When you watch video of Siva and Russ Smith, what do you see? Explosive. Um, heady guards um, that are, that are have, have have real good chances. They're playing at the next level, if not um, uh, leaders. Um, just you know, great great guards. You know, uh, that knows the game, high IQ. You know, uh, real good. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, right here. Yep, go. The majors have you know made progress after the championship game, but it's been you know. Not able to, to get over that point recently. What, what does it take when you get here for a program that doesn't maybe have the advantages of some of these other ones to, to do that? Well, you know, first you got to take care of the first 40 minutes before you can even think about a championship yes. game. Um, and then after that, you know, you, you, you st stick with the same mind frame, you know, defense and rebound. And, um, and you just dig a little deeper because, you know, it's only 40 more minutes until you're national champ. So you, it's just a matter of staying focused and staying hungry and humble. Talk about aggressiveness. Would you expect that since the third guard on the mobile right now is a walk on, that they could play as aggressive, or are they going to have to throttle back? No, nah, I mean it's, it's it's no holding back. You know, uh, it, this could be your last college game, so I mean you, you got to be aggressive. You want to go out with a bang, no matter what it may be. So I don't think they're going to hold anything back. Um, maybe depending on the foul situation for them. You know, they may be, you know, not aggressive, but, you know, maybe try to control the game and finish a half out maybe, but it's not going to be anything like as far as not being aggressive. One, two, three. People talk about how you guys are a little bit older than the average team. You got some guys who've been through the, the ringer and, uh, you know, more like men than, than college students. How much of an advantage has that given you in this run? Uh, man. I don't really know if you want to say that's an advantage, you know, because at the end of the day, it's just basketball. It's not like we're going to war or anything. But, I mean, you know, um, maybe the life situations, the things they've been through, is a lot easier to come out and perform than it is to, you know, to, to go to work. Or a younger kid that may not understand, you know, what this means. I heard you address it earlier, and I'm sorry for re-asking the question here, but all your guys' background and experiences, for example, you working at the car dealership a year ago, seems to have put you guys in a grounded situation. Can you characterize the whole team and how you guys approach this game and how that's kind of grounded you guys in the future of your success? Um, I would say the team's more focused. Um, you know, um, Rodriguez, they played for VCU um, a while back when they made the Final Four run. He, he kind of talked to our coaches and was, you know, kind of informed us on, you know, it's a lot when you be there, you know, the media is is way more than, you know, what you're used to. Um, so it's just a matter of staying focused and, and not allowing this to go to your head or force you to be more than what you should be at the time and just staying focused. So we're not really, you know, caught up in the hype. We're just here to play basketball. Malcolm, you and Russ both like to get to the basket. Talk about your impressions of him and how you go about trying to contain a player like 
I, I like his game. You know, uh, me and my roommate uh, CJ was in the room last night and we was talking about it. You know, uh, I like I like aggressive guards. You know, that, that's, that's trying to get buckets and get to the rim and, and, and play with passion. So I mean, you you gotta you gotta you gotta allow him to control himself, but you know, put good smart pressure on him at the same time and and force him to take tough and bad shots.